What's up guys, Markir from VIP Shop Management. This is a tips of the week video. Um, there's two uh, tips that I wanna talk about that a lot of customers are getting confused about. Tip number one, uh, so service history it used to be, there used to be a magnifier up top. We moved that, it's not there anymore. However, you, you still have the same functionality. If I go to customer list and then just search for any customer I'm gonna see up top service history. The moment you click on it, it's gonna show all the history for all the vehicles. So what I, by clicking on it, it's gonna do the same job uh, the magnifier was doing. All what we did basically is combine them together because uh, I know as an existing customer, you're used to it, but a new customer always had that problem. Where is the service history? So it's all combined under customer list. Once you click on the customer, like I said, it's, you're gonna see a service history link and you click on it. And that will give you the, the ability to um, search history without uh, creating an estimate. So, all right, so that's tip number one. Tip number uh, two, um, uh, when you have a big invoice, um, let's, let's add some more. When you have a big invoice, sometimes customer thinks that they cannot add any more line. Yes, you can, there's a plus sign above above the can jobs just click on the plus sign so basically when it switches to a mode where it's expanded you cannot uh, we want to we you, you don't need the controls at all time you only need the control to add a line when you want to add a line but when, when it's already big most likely you're just viewing it if you want to add it you can add it but to add a line just click on the plus sign you're going to see the control and you can add uh, uh, you can add as, as many lines as you want. I think uh, it's up to 100 lines, so don't be confused. Just click on the plus sign. I understand it's not like bright or something, but it kind of help. We kind of design, we have to, it has to go with the design. Everything has to cool look and, and, and special. So, um, uh, another uh, tip that I want to talk about clocking in job. Now you can clock in jobs, it's just pretty cool. Just click on the job, clock in. And then you can time it. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's not like clocking. A, it's it's all about can we see if this if this job is gonna take zero point eight or more or less. So it's really and to clock out, just click on it, click clock out. So it gives you the number. Um, uh, another tip is while I'm here, I want to talk about print preview. So prior to this uh, video, we were using uh, Adobe Reader to print preview. We just uh, we just stopped using Adobe Reader. It just it's too heavy. So what we're using is uh, just a browser, basically. You click print to preview, it's a lot faster and it looks better anyway. So this is your print to preview right now. Um, uh, it looks cool, it zooms automatically and all that, so I like it. So that's your print to preview right now. It should work, be, and another thing, every time we get a new customer, we have to go and download Adobe Reader. We don't wanna download Adobe Reader anymore, so, uh, so everybody should be switched automatically to print to preview, which is basically uh, the browser that you have and it looks fantastic you can print from here keep that in mind if you ever had a problem with printer issue uh, you can print right here from here where you can select the printer and all that so keep that in mind so um uh, let's keep going uh, i want to talk about time clock real quick if you go to payroll i don't know if i talked about that now you can pay salary sold hours clocked hours but before that, I want to make sure, make sure when you go to employees and make sure you set them, you can set them now as a salary and hourly. If they are salary, make sure you set them as salary. So keep that in mind. Uh, if they're hourly, make sure you set them as hourly. So you can select that. Um, uh, that makes a huge difference when you're trying to pay employees. So if I click on play employees and play salary, it's going to show only uh, the, the employees that are salary. Click on mark. Uh, like I said, you know, you can just, let's say, you, let's go back, let's go back to Mark and fix it real quick. Let's go employee, employees, and when we have Mark, let's support him. Let's say we're paying him like $890 a week. Update, close, pay employee, pay employee, salary, and we're going to click on uh, Mark. And we get, it's gonna fill it automatically and it's gonna keep track of what year to date, how much you paid them so far. You don't have to fill up the taxes and all that as we we don't know where we're heading with that. Just you just all you have to do and just mark it as paid. If you paid them this week, mark them as paid. Why is that important? Because I come here and view paychecks and I'm gonna see, all right, I paid Mark uh, from this from this 
I appeared mark for this for this uh, period of time I can if to delete it obviously just click on it and I'll let you delete it um, uh, another thing about uh, payroll pay employees uh, clocked hours I don't have anybody all right let's go back to the last week so if I click on uh, on mark right here let's click on somebody else click on James uh, first of all if you if somebody forget to clock in you're gonna see that he did not clock out so all you have to do is basically click on it and you can change the name so now you can update the date and uh, and or delete it so that goes not just for the one he did not clock out or and the one for anyone you can change the date and time um, as as you need to so and, or delete um, uh, what else I want to talk about balance sheet we want to talk about balance sheet when you type in payroll now you're gonna see let me see just make sure it's correct payroll yeah so when you type payroll it's gonna give you uh, the total of payroll where this con where this number come from it's really simple you just go to payroll view paychecks select from what time to from what day to what day so if i go to august uh, i mean july in july 31st and submit it's going to give me the total there's a total right there the total gross pay and all that so this is going to be automatically uh done for you on with the balance sheet so we want to uh, keep track of payroll um what else want to talk about right there if we go back to daily report um, uh, po labor costs. So if you set uh, the the that's that's the confusion right there. If you set um, the employee a technician employee uh, to uh, hourly, it will show labor cost. If it's set to salary, it should not be any labor cost there. So make sure uh, you set them the way they're supposed to. So um, what else want to talk about? I mean. Uh, my favorite uh, part is the, the print to preview right here. It's so cool now. It's really super cool. Anyway, I appreciate you guys. Until next time, thanks for watching.